Alright guys, uh, how's it going everybody? Today I'm going to step away uh, for a short while uh, from the cuff eraser project I'm building and I'm going to focus on this big boy over here. Um, this bike uh, is, uh, belongs to a friend of mine, a very good friend of mine and somebody was uh, kind enough to reverse into the bike when it was parked and the bike dropped and obviously the very kind driver didn't leave any details and didn't bother to contact anybody so the bike dropped on its side and um, and made a dent in a petrol tank. Quite a quite a major problem. Uh, the bike is brand new, but obviously this things like this is not covered under warranty. Uh, my mate went to a Honda and they quote him over nine hundred pounds for a brand new petrol tank, which is a lot of money. And obviously, at some point when he can afford it, he will get it replaced. But in the meantime, I offer my help. Uh, to sort out the damage. Um, let me show you what it is and uh, explain you in more details what's, uh, what's going to happen. Alright, so um, it's a, as you can see, it's a Honda VFR 800. Uh, it's a brand new bike. It's got less than a thousand miles probably. This is the problem right now. This is the, uh, the area of, uh, of an issue. Uh, the petrol tank is not leaking luckily, but it's been quite heavily dented. And as I can see where the paint all chipped off, uh, it's all becoming rusty and horrible and all that. So I'm going to deal with it. Obviously, um, there are a few more issues, the wear few more issues. The clutch lever was completely bent and then it snapped. So we replaced that with a new one. There are some imperfections here on the mirror and on the fairing when the bike dropped. Um, but that's, that's not the end of the world. I mean, we can live with that. Uh, this is a more of a problem. So we're going to deal with this uh, today, um, well I try to anyway. Repair jobs like this I don't usually do, I mean um, I can do it but I'm not too keen of uh, performing that. Uh, repair job of this instance would be to respray the whole petrol tank in one color or, uh, or to match the color from a Honda catalog so it's exactly the same. But I mean respray the whole petrol tank, stripping it out from paint or uh, so on and so forth. And filling that uh, that dent, uh, but that's uh, that's a very long job, very big job, and uh, it can be quite pricey. I offer a friend of mine, I'm going to do it just for the price of paint, um, and because he wants to replace the petrol tag at some point, um, I'm not going to spend all that time in replay repairing the repainting the whole petrol tank. Um, that would be a bit of a wasteful time. Uh, so I'm going to just focus on this area, uh, maybe a little bit around and uh, try to blend it in as best as I can to hide the damage. Obviously, um, on top of that, I will put some kind of artwork or airbrush something. Um, I have something little in mind going on, uh, just to take the edge of, um, of what's happening you know, around here, because you know, when you look at that paint, you will see tiny bit of metal flake, uh, not metal flake, uh, pearlescent color, that's what it is, metallic pearlescent color. In a paint and uh, I can't replicate it without getting special paint from Honda but you can buy less than one liter of paint which is horrendously expensive and all that so I'm gonna do the best I can with as least little effort as I can do just to repair this little uh, little problem over here and uh, hopefully uh, we can make a semi decent job out of it so my mate can enjoy his bike until he can afford to replace the petrol tank again on that so uh, without too much talk uh, I'm gonna Key the camera on the back somewhere in the corner. Uh, you're gonna enjoy some music, and I'm gonna crack on with that. See what happens. See if we can do a semi decent job on this today.
Now all this rubbish is out of the way. I'm gonna strip some paint completely and all the rust clean this area off, probably go a little bit more around so then I can blend it in. I will try not to go on onto this curvature here and below this one. You can see those lines. I can try to stay within this kind of uh, this kind of area and uh, hopefully I can get away with uh, just like um, a spot respray and then and then blend it in. Hopefully that will work. Fingers crossed. cleaned up uh, pretty well um, but if you attempting any kind of repair job like this on your own bike or car or, or any other piece of bodywork you know that has been dented or scratched or something the important thing is to remove the rust and, and all the loose bits of paint that I've just left over here and go widely around the area um, of your uh, of your problem um, as I said I'm not doing a super professional respray job the full respray job on the petrol tank uh, that would take uh, a little bit longer and it would cost a little bit more money uh, but it's just like a sport repair you know so my friend can enjoy his brand new bike again you know and uh, not worry about it too much because I've, I know he's been uh, he's been bothering him so um, we're gonna just quickly fix that make a semi decent job out of it and then uh, when the time is right he can replace the petrol tank with a new one so the issue is not there anymore uh, but that for now with that just will do um, now it's all cleaned up we're gonna degrease it and then start body working. Uh, if the dent was any bigger than this, I would probably go fiberglassing around it. Uh, but with a small, small hole like that, small dent like this, I can get away with a, a body filler. Um, do it in stages so it doesn't crack off and crack out. And, uh, and I'm gonna work it on this uh, very funky shape because it's right on the uh, on the edge of a petrol tank where it's three or four platforms connect. It's not only it's not only going this way and this way it's, it bends over and it goes from underneath is a bend as well so this is in the right the most pain in the ass probably could have been but um, I've got a good idea how to cut replicate it looking at the other side so uh Right, so I'm waiting for the uh, filler to dry, which shouldn't take uh, long. I mean, I've done it three minutes ago and it's already uh, nearly solid. I'm going to leave it some uh, more time uh, just to get uh, completely solid. I'm going to sand it off and probably do another layer. You feel it's still warm, so it's working. Uh, in the meantime, I've, when I was taking the fairing off, I noticed that this part has got badly scratched, but it's actually there's a small crack over there. I don't know if you can see it. As a small crack running over there so uh, what I'm going to do from the inside I'm going to clean it all up and put some fiberglass just like probably two or three layers just in the corner here um, just to strengthen it and, and it doesn't chip later on um, whether or not I'm going to deal with these scratches here I'll, uh, I'll see because it's all painted as well you can't really polish that back but I know we'll see because that's a bigger job we'll see what I may want to do about it but at the moment I'm going to deal with the uh, structure of it so it doesn't come apart. So uh, let's do this as well.
Right, so uh, first layer, first sand down from that uh, body filler or bondo, whatever, whatever you are in the world. Uh, it's looking better. Obviously, it needs more filling in. You can see this spot over here and underneath. Um, it needs more filler, but that's obviously expected after the first uh, first layer. I think two, usually three, three layers in a small hole, uh, small den like this. It's uh, it's enough to do the job. But as you can see, we already got rid of the uh, the dent. The petrol tank is um, the shape as it is on the other side, um, which is kind of uh, very funky shape. You got all kind of angles and, and and curvatures happening here, but it's no longer flat as it was before. We are rebuilding that kind of uh, structure. Just basically need to follow every single curvature this way, and then goes down, and then around and on top and just follow all the existing lines and you kind of get the shape you uh, you want and we're gonna get close enough to near perfection anyway so uh, let me mix up some more uh, more magic body filler and then um, do it all over again Right, so here we go. It's um, second layer of um, body filler, sanded down. I really like the shape it came up with. It kind of follows the every curvature of the uh, petrol tank. It's got the nice sharp edge over here as well, like uh, like just like the other side. Um, but there are some pinholes and some imperfections and some flat spots again. So uh, uh, I will deal with it. Uh, but to deal with it, I need to put some primer on it first, just to help me out with a. Uh, uh, visualize where uh, where the problematic area is so I need to go back with just a tiny bit of uh, more filler and then sand it down completely to uh, perfection once it's all there um, I'll be able to move on uh, to kind of color match it and uh, clear it artwork it and blend it in and see what happens I masked off the area I don't want uh, any paint uh, any primer to go to uh, that kind of um, different different sections of a petrol tank you know from a from a line when it curves you know that will kind of help me later on to blend in um the uh the color match the imperfection that's going to be there um so i'm hoping you can get away with it visually anyway right i'm going to degrease it now and uh spray some primer over it Alrighty, so uh, half an hour later, it's all dry, completely um, covered in primer. Well, not completely, but the main area I want to work on. You can see imperfections happening already. You can see covering that in the, in the primer and uh, doing layers, guide coats. It's like having an extra kind of sense, not just visual and touch, but you can kind of see it better. So uh, I'm going to deal with it now. I'm going to sand it down and then try to uh, uh, make it as good as it can be. Right, there we there we are. Um, all been sanded off properly. Found a couple of low spots and a couple of high spots, and all's been exposed. And I'm quite happy with uh, with what I can what I can I can see right now. I cannot feel any imperfections right now. Where things seem smooth. I close my eyes. I don't even know where the hole was. I mean, it's uh, 
pretty close match to the other side of a petrol tank if you look at that you got that curve going over here and it's the same one this other side and even I can feel it going up and down it's kind of kind of the same this is probably slightly sharp on this side but this is close enough you know looking at it visually visually uh, it's, uh, it's bang on so what I'm gonna do uh, prime it black it sand it down polish probably clear and polish after that see how well I can blend that in so it looks like one piece and uh, we take it from there rock and roll so uh, skipping forward a little bit um, I just literally spray first uh, layer of black just regular gloss black paint from a spray can I'm not using a gallon compressor for it because it's just a too small job for that um, but already you can see uh, the result is pretty good for what we had previously um, I got the light shining on it obviously there are imperfections I can see them right over here when the light is breaking out uh, but I'm gonna deal with it as well uh, I need to put a couple more layers on that and then uh, wet and dry sand it down a little bit so just little ripples and all the other stuff just disappears uh, but other than that I mean I'm really happy with it it's uh, it's looking um, looking factory standard at the moment obviously the next job is to uh, blend the two colors in and then put some artwork on it or something but so far so good right so that's uh, layer number three of the two thin one and then the last one is a very thick coat so I need to just leave it now till it's um, dry completely and then um, come back to it revisit that with some uh, um, 1500 maybe and 2000 grit wet and dry sandpaper so we can get rid of all the uh, imperfections in it but you know so far so good I mean obviously the paint is still super wet so it's uh, it looks very smooth but once it's dry the finish will evaporate and it will show some imperfections in the paint but as it stands um, I'm pretty happy with that uh, you'll never know there was some kind of a there was some kind of a dent in there uh, obviously the paint is different than the factory paint this is just black this is black with some uh, metallic uh, flake in it but I'm gonna deal with it I'm gonna deal with it uh, the right way as well so uh, uh, leave it probably overnight we'll come back to it uh, a couple days later see what we can do then okay uh, so it's uh, day two of a repair job now um, what I've done off camera I just uh, sand it down like wet and dry 800 and then spray black again and then sand it down a little bit more and then spray it and then sand down and spray just uh, two or three times probably just to build up um, that paint so it's uh, nice and smooth around all the uh, imperfections and uh, I'm pretty good with the results right now I think um, let me show you what's happening right so uh, here we are as you can see the uh, the area of, uh, of the impact was here um, but right now it's smooth all the way around you can't even see where the uh, where the damage was which was the point um, that would be if I if I'll be doing just a repair I would just uh, sand it all down and clear it the whole tank and then polish but I want to take it the uh, one step further because I can do some airbrushing uh, more or less anyway um, I'm going to put a little bit of artwork on this. I mean, I wouldn't normally uh, fuck about with a brand new bike like that, you know, but um, it already has some damage on it and needs to be resprayed. Uh, so I might as well put some artwork, especially that uh, friend of mine said, yeah, go ahead, you know, put some uh, whatever you like on that, you know, and I've got some good idea what he would like to uh, to have over there, you know, a little skull, maybe uh, some logo that is uh, very close to him. So I, uh, I think I do that over here. And also putting some kind of artwork here uh, some airbrushing that will take the edge of any kind of imperfection in paint or color match or anything like that but I'll do my best to match it all perfectly and if there's uh, any imperfections that'll be taken away because the artwork will be here so your eye will be drawn to the art and not that is slight color mismatch here and there but I will uh, spray some pearlescent colors on top of that as well 
so hopefully uh, that will be blended in like it's a one big petrol tank and no um, different uh, repair repair jobs respray jobs or anything like that so I'm hoping that will be uh, that will be the end of that you know well uh, let me prepare the airbrush and uh, we take it from there <laughs>